is the operation that we entails uh, going into the brain proper to correct the anomaly. So the Lord has done something that he wants to share the testimony about, Brother Alfred. Praise the Lord! My name is the Brother Alfred Oseyomo. I'm worship at Odijo Group of Districts here. I really thank the name of the Lord for what God has done for me during the, the divine touch at Abuja. When the crusade was going on, I first think they rushed me to hospital. By then, I don't know where I is. I didn't see. I close eye. They take me to hospital. When I get to hospital, they do test. Doctor said, I'm going to do brain surgery. Well, they take the, me uh, the message to Pastor Soji Ajayi. He said, no problem. I will not die. When the, our father, the Lord, the message was going on. As he said that anywhere that you have problem, lay your hand upon it. I lie down in the hospital. Before then, one of our sisters rushed down. He gave my daughter her set. He said, place it on my ear so that I'll be hearing. He did that. Later, he said that, pastor said, anywhere you have problem, lay your hand upon it. Then my daughter carried my hand. He put out my head. I don't know where I is. When he, my father, the Lord, was praying, in the last amen, that's how the, I receive him. <laughs> my eye was open. I said, where am I is? They said, you are in hospital. I said, okay. I stand up. I move. All the nurses, they, all the nurses in the hospital, all of them come to look at me. He said, the miracle has taken place. I said, okay. After a week, I went to test again to confirm whether the inert is still there. When I get there, the doctor said, Brother Alfred, there's nothing in your brain. Put your hands together for Jesus. Brain surgery canceled by the power of God. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord who did that when our Father in the Lord prayed to God and got him connected to God and his brain surgery. Let me say something about it a little bit more. His brain, it was discovered by test that some fluid had gathered inside his brain. And they would need to drain the fluid by surgery. Not only that, they asked us to pay about 1.2 million naira to do the surgery. But crusade was going on. And then he was connected on phone, just on the phone. Look at you, you are here tonight, face to face. Last aim on the phone. Brain surgery canceled, the fluid disappeared. Can you beat that? Put your hands together for Jesus. I don't see any reason why anyone should leave this place tonight without getting something from the Lord. Amen. Something happened online far away in Turkey. Listen. Over to you online. Great things God is doing during the crusade as we take you all the way to Turkey for uh, a great miracle that happened in Turkey. 
Toki coming up live. My child, my child, my child, my child, my child. We'll return now to the state of Asia where we'll try to confirm from them what really happened. Thank you, Let's listen to another testimony. It's like we're having signal problem from Turkey, but then that will be rectified later on. Yes, the next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is Sister Ruth Ishola, who has been diagnosed as asthmatic in the last 20 years. There are two testimonies. The second one, she was involved in a motorbike accident and sustained trauma to her back, and which this resulted into a chronic pain that was taking her in and out of the hospital. She wants to share the testimony of the goodness of God. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! My name is Sister Ruth Ishola. I'm from Egbeta region, Oluwo Group 1. I bless the name of the Lord for salvation of my soul. The Lord sought me in 1979 at Lagos, where I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Since that time, God has been helping me, and he has been with me. Praise the Lord! And this sickness of this asthma cough is a junior one to death. This sickness, I really thank God. It seems that our father is coming to this Ibadan. The preparation has been done in my body, in my life. I can feel it. But yesterday, during this time, I'm at hand. Many people, they can testify to it. I don't know where I could I be. And during this time, I'm using cold water to bath. Praise the Lord. I can see myself that I've received the perfect healing of the Lord. And I know the healing will be permanent in my life. The second one is that when we are coming from the workers' meeting, by that time, my husband carried me in Okada as we were going. I don't know that my husband has seen the people that want to approach us on Okada. is near our Okada. So when I look back, and my husband stand on the Okada, he look back, he said, ah, if I jump now, how about this woman? Immediately, the people, that thing I was just hearing in my ear, I just pushed my husband in the bush. And the, Okada, and the people, he just climbed on Okada, Okada just fell on my back. And before they can carry Okada and those people in the vehicle, they say, ah, they have killed the pastor and the pastores. Ah, how they are going to do it? The first of us carry Okada before I can got up on that time. And I was took to the chemist. They bought many things. It was not nothing. So when in the second day, so I went to UCH. Since then, I've been going to UCH. Thesis upon thesis. Ah, when it is last year, I said, enough is enough. I'm not going to go to research again. God, you are the one who saved me. This problem, you are able to remove it. And since then, I've been walking in faith. And I've been, uh, I've been meditating the faith. I've been eating the faith. And God will help me. During this total freedom, ah, it's my time. That God has set me free. He set me free from my bondage. I praise the name of the Lord. When they were dying in the Lord, he's praying. I just feel that, ah, I'm on now the one again. I just do like this. I say, ah, me, ah, I really bless the name of, praise the Lord. Our daddy long life in Jesus' name. You can see the proof on this location at the back. Healed in Jesus' name. You will get your room tonight in Jesus' name. Now it looks like signals improved. Let's return to talking now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Epis Max. 
I'm here to testify about the goodness of the Lord for what he did for my child at the last global Uh, let's listen to this uh, testimony on ground. Uh, looks like signal has disappeared also in, in Turkey. And on the Praise let's the Lord. Beside me is Adelaide Benjamin. He's been having a low back pain from childhood. And when I calculated the time, the low back pain has been for the last 10 years. We want to testify of what God has done. Where's the Lord? Where's the living God? I want to thank the Lord for what I have done in my life. I've been suffering from a serious back pain since when I was in primary six. This has affected my academic life, especially when I want to prepare for an exam. I cannot read. When I want to read, to start paining me. It made me lost my admission last year. And now I'm seeking for another one. So now, I've gone to several uh, hospitals in Lagos. They told me it's because I've been drinking cold water too much. They have to stop it. Then they wrote some medications for me. Then I keep using it, but still, still paining me. So, when I came on Thursday, I connected with Daddy here, and he told us to raise up our hand and touch where we have a problem. I touched my back. Then when I was praying along, I received a cold substance from my back. I've never seen this in my life. Yes, continue, please. So, as I was looking at it, I said, ah, what is this? So I keep praying. Then before the end of the prayer, I couldn't feel it anymore. Can you please bend down and stand up, bend down and stand up to prove your healing? Put your hands together for Jesus. Ten years of agony, no more. I believe that tonight, every one of us will receive the touch of the Almighty God. And we also shall testify in due time in Jesus' name. Now let's listen to the choir. <laughs> 